This why, is why did you, you're a busy man, you have a busy schedule, why did you take the time uh, to come up to the Upstate tonight and to speak at Bob Jones? I've been to, to Bob Jones University a number of times, it, it's always an inspiration, it's a great school, always has been, the Upstate is a, is a part of our state that is uh, magnificent, uh, towns, cities all around South Carolina are, are just blossoming. And that's why I, I came here to to say that, to tell the, the, the young people here especially to be proud of South Carolina. We've got everything we need for great prosperity, and we just need to work hard and, and stick with the Constitution, and we'll be, we'll be in, in good shape. We need to get rid of the, any high taxes, we need to keep taxes low, we need to get rid of regulations. And we need to educate the children. We need to have strong law and order. Again, the rule of law. But if we just stick with those founding principles, we'll be in great shape in South Carolina. I don't think there's another state that can keep up with us economically. And when you have economic growth and prosperity, many problems go away. Domestic violence goes down. Drug usage goes down. Marriages go up. Divorces go down. Children get educated. People are happy to go to work. It just changes everything. Governor, ask you one more question about the You've nuclear been to the issue. upstate three times in the last nine days. Try to make sure that uh, Lieutenant Governor Bryant has some competition up here come election time. <laughs> yeah, everybody wants competition in primaries except for the candidates, and they'd like to be just running on them. I love competition. This is a it's a great uh, process, but in in the position of governor, I go all over the state all the time, and I love it. There's nothing I'd rather do. I'm so proud of this state, the people of this state, that uh, I can hardly stand it. It's a great honor for me to be serving as governor. What right, about thanks, guys. Irma? We got him.